Whoa! It's about time that I'm back. So this is all Rock and Race United for to give a special review. It's not about racing, but there's gonna be a lot of racing reference to tell you that right now. The 25th anniversary of the Kid Choice Awards of 2012, which is also the 10th anniversary of the Pink Slime. If you remember back 2002, which was the first time I ever watched the awards, which was the last couple of years of Rosie O'Donnell being the host before she became enemies with Donald Trump and whatnot. So, let's get started. First and foremost, the reason why I watched this to begin with is because it's Will Smith the host. Not douchebag Russell Brand or any of the cruddy hosts we had in the past. But Will Smith is the host. At least it's good. I guess it's a good start. And right at the beginning, he was pumped up. He remind me of LL Cool J as the Grammy host. Bring energetic. However, like Cool J and Smith, with not really Cool J because Cool J's been in the acting, same with Will Smith. Rap performance, no. I don't think it was necessary to do it. Especially with the choreographers with Party Rock Anthem in a way. I don't think that was necessary. Then we talk about the people who are in it. Well, here's the good people in my opinion. Yeah, but Halle Berry. Halle Berry with the interaction between Will Smith and them led to a slime. And you have Chris Rock. And you have Taylor Swift. Which we'll have a discussion about her in a moment. And then you have Luda. Ludacris himself. Who had plans, but... Decided to show up instead of getting the one thing that was supposed to be working. Ludaversal. But that's just to another day. Meanwhile... Here are the crappy, horrible lineup. You have The Miz, who is not awesome. Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, and Mr. Irrelevant himself, who I haven't heard shit about him, Cody Simpson. Before we move any further, this following production has profanity, so bear with me. If you don't want to handle my profanity, then think of what you're listening to. Okay, then we move on to Nicki Minaj. What in the world was she wearing? Oh, that's the most disgusting dress I've ever seen. Creative wise, okay. But early, ugly. More for who invited her? Why her? Don't they understand about the Grammy scandal? It caused religion to go and a um, huge madness. What are they thinking? Nicki Minaj, mediocre. You're gonna fall down the tubes very soon. Leaning to. Best music group, which were Big Time Rush, Black Eyed Peas, who seems like not been good since the Super Bowl halftime show, LMFAO, the Party Rock Dudes, and he had the one that's not gonna win by any means at all, Lady Antebellum. And guess who won? No surprise, Big Time Rush. I don't care much about them. To be honest, I don't hate them as much as the Jonas Brothers because Jonas Brothers suck dick. Okay, a little off note, but big heads. Why do you have to be, why do you have to make big hits of them? Happy Gilmore made that tradition, which I want to buy a copy of the big heads. If you remember Happy Gilmore, if you've never seen Happy Gilmore, about go watch it. If you're young kids or just like hearing profanity, if you want to see something stupid, watch the beginning. Kids, don't watch the beginning. Segment 1, other than that, it was okay. It was okay. Not as bad. Then we move to the multiple awards, which is about over 70% of the awards were during the commercials. Probably nobody watched the commercials. Other than me. Best reality TV show, Wipeout, from ABC. Bear with me as I go through. Best TV actor, Jake Short, whoever the heck he is, is from Ant Farm, it's a Disney product. And more, let's put in an off note. And it revolves into my percentage at the end as a joke. But bear with me. Some of the Victoria's cats looked pure kinky. Liz Giles was one of them in that segment. Okay, then when we come back to the break, then we talk about Will Smith. That looked like apparently he had a spider bite. And it more looked like he had a big pimple or a huge inappropriate reference that we cannot mention in this product. Then they moved the best movie actor, which was Adam Sandler. For Jack and Jill, the movie that's nominated for every single Golden Raspberry Awards 
which is going to be tomorrow. And the sad thing is, it will not be televised. They need to bring it on TV because I would like to see it, even though nobody's going to show up for those who are receiving it. That's a first, ladies and gentlemen. It could be worse than Freddy did. Freddy bit my finger, or whatever the heck that stupid movie is called. I've never seen it, so I can't really think much. But if it's that horribly received, I don't understand. But the kids probably love him so much. Then you get introduced to the slime wrestling, which is the eve of WrestleMania. Now in the comments, who do you think is gonna win? John Cena or The Rock? It's gonna be the one big matchup for the ages. The superstar of today and the superstar of the early 2000s battle it out at the wrestling forum in Miami. And we move on to something that really bitters me, which I'm just going to be talking about this real quick. Before we move to the award that pissed me off to the core, the statue. If you notice the silver statue that was supposed to be a human that's really big, who could it be? I thought it was Biggie Smalls, but Biggie Smalls is dead. I want to treat it like Biggie because it looked like the, himself. Or well, then they start moving. It looked like Keenan. Remember Keenan Thompson, Raquette and Kel, back in the day, where Nickelodeon used to show gangster shit all the time. Okay, TV actress, you have got to be fucking kidding me! Selena Gomez, are you kidding? This proves to you that Disney are dominating Kids Choice Awards once again. Do you know? I've been bitching and moaning about it every time, every single year I watch it. They need the split. Indy car and cha Indy car and cart. They split up. Open American open wheel racing has been in the dark ages since. Indy car was, was at the time known as the Indy racing when it began. They were just steadily okay, and then car was just crippling in the pieces like rock. They did, went on demise. Then they had to finally they merged together in 2008. Seem to getting back and back and rising. Another point, before I may go back, before I move on, I like to say uh, what Elio Castro never did at St. Petersburg was definitely a true class act, proving that the Ice on IndyCar series is definitely one of the most classiest lineups. Especially since what many people are going to say, especially since Danica Patrick left the sport. Okay. But still, that was the shittiest segment of the whole awards. That's far. That's far. You know why it's that's far? It's gonna come to the lead to the next segment. And then we'll talk about Daniel Patrick in a moment. Then we move on to the favorite cartoon. No surprise. Spongebob Squarepants won. And favorite me male athletes, the one, the only, the new Jersey native. Excuse me. Excuse me. I apologize to all the fans. New York Jets, quarterback number 15, the one and only Tim Tebow. Yes, Tim Tebow won. Now everybody's going to be Tebowing around the country and all of that. Probably I am as well. What made it crappy was they had to have flipping corn. Okay, it's not corn. Here's why I call Fred with a backwards R corn. Because he has a backwards R. And to me, backwards R I don't like. I don't like corn. I don't like Fred. Especially backwards R is bullshit baloney. Mm. Okay, now back to the segment. The ludicrous star lead is off to introduce the three nominees for the who's going to be slime. One was a monkey with bad breath. And you have the angry lunch lady, and then you have the honor celebrity, which most likely what I thought was going to win to begin with. And the most overrated act, a singer, hot body, but don't like her at all because she made Russell Brand piss on Michael Jackson's grave, having six number one in the Teenage Dream series. You know, pretty much you know what I mean. Katy Perry, horrible performance, unnecessary stunts, unroyal. On monarchy like England, England are not gonna be happy about that. England are not gonna be happy about that. More words, she's promoting medieval. This is not the Grammys or the VMAs. This is the little kids, the little kids. You're promoting medieval. Why have to promote medieval? Everybody's gonna be talking about it now. Even MTV's gonna say 
Katy Perry promotes Medieval. Oh, wait, it's MTV. They don't care. They're going to be talking about Jersey Shore. But Medieval, are you kidding me? That's not sending a good message. If you want to do it somewhere, do it in an adult audience, please. And please. And I know Michael Jackson fans knows this. Stop. With this number one success. It's all the same. Move on. Favorite female voice. Herself for the Smurfs. It's like Shades of Arcade Fire at the Grammys. They perform and guess who won best album? Them. You don't do that. In fact, that same year is when Esperanza Spalding won for best new artist, causing a lot of uproar anger. Because Justin Bieber and Drake were in it. Everybody loved those two. Then they're thinking, who the heck is Esperanza Spalding? What happened to her? Move on. Other than that, it was a low blow a segment. And now they're gonna make a movie about her! What about Leah? What about Leah? Better, better vocal artist than Katy Perry any given day. It's, she's like Dale Earnhardt. She's like Dan Weldon, Ayrton Senna. She, except she's a female. She's a talented artist, but taking her life away while she was working on her music video. More importantly, the blimp. The blimp. If you looked at it, it reminded me of the Budweiser blimp from back in the day. It's just painted it over, so, you know, there's it off note. Okay, then, in honor of I'm 18, let me watch, with all of the random ESPN commentary, which I enjoyed and funny as shit, Danica Patrick. Danica Patrick. In honor of them, yes, here's what how they would say. Well, the Kids' Choice Awards happened last night, and you know what is going going on, and you know, I don't care. And I don't know. Guess who won best female athlete? David Capanzo won best female athlete. Can you believe it? Ah, uh, not really. She has not done well in NASCAR. Everybody knows it, but it's just by the fan favorite than the boat. Probably because she's a NASCAR. I would. Well, the only reason I vote for her is because she's a NASCAR, and she's a racer. I don't know that. One win. And I was in Japan and Motegi. On a tape delay that was shown on ESPN Classic because of the rain. Also, the last race with Champ Car and Indy Car riding at the same time. Long story. That's crazy. But back to the topic. Where that? Danica Patrick, best female athlete. A lot of people are going to be ticked about that, especially in the NASCAR world. And on a main team, let me watch. They're going to be upset about it, too. And, I, and I, if they do make a video or something about it, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Favorite book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. Spoiler alert, next year it's going to be The Hunger Games. I wouldn't be surprised about that. Okay, Spongebob. They have got, Nickelodeon has got to be out of their flipping minds. Unless they're trying to throw a little throwback of Ren and Stimpy. Or something. The Spongebob Madness. Two weeks, never before seen episodes that are more likely is going to be banned like Something that Cartoon Network done with when the Powerpuff Girls was known as the Whoop Ass Girls in the Dexter's Rude Removal. You're never going to see it again. You never will. Everybody wants to see it. There's things that people want to see. Those Dexter's Rude Remo Removal and the Two Live Crew infamous concert in Japan. Most likely those episodes of SpongeBob is going to be banned without a doubt. So that's where they're going to show it. One and done. Simple as that. So, by this point, I was bitter, upset, anger, ticked off, blah, 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 blah. Then the clowns and Chris Rock saved the award. They tried to be funny. They did, I don't know. You decide. Favorite movie actress, Kristen Stewart from Twilight. The only thing I'm going to say, at least she gave props to the classic Nickelodeon shows if you didn't caught her speech. At least she did recognize Doug and Rocco's modern life. Probably today's generation would give us, would care less about it because they never heard of them in their lives except for us, born in 94, and love the stuff of back in the day when it was like the renaissance of everything in animation. 
gave her props. I gave her props for that. Then, the true highlight in my opinion, Taylor Swift won the Big Help Award, putting in a, a great example, proving that she is not like Katy Perry or Rihanna or Nicki Minaj. She actually cares. And she's clean. And sorry, Kanye West, Beyonce does not have the best video of all time. That's just my opinion. Obama, I agree with you too. Okay, the Kids Won't Enjoy the Award Slime Wrestling featured The Big Show and Mr. Not Awesome, The Miz. <laughs> On the evening before WrestleMania. And favorite animated film was Puss in Boots, which is still continuing the silly rink a dink slime bomb segment. Now, favorite TV show, Victorious, Saving the Nickelodeon World. Daniel Mondat, if you notice on the right side of the screen, the one in the pink dress, what is she? Is there an after party that I never heard of? Is she trying to go to a little John concert or something? Because she has a kinky dress. Then TV Butt Kicker, which made it more kinkier, you have to include Kelly Kelly in it. Then, Mr. Cold Trickle Tom Cruise. Then you have Jessica Alba. And then you have Taylor Lautner, who should be working for Old Spice. He's the definition of Old Spice, in my opinion. But guess who won? No surprise, it's Mr. Old Spice. Now we're going to see him do commercials with Tony Stewart. Likely not. But we all wish. And then the best part of, th of that segment, which was actually a good segment, but more importantly in a controversial point of view, Will Smith telling Lautner to do 1,000 push-ups. He tell him like it is. Tell him like it is, Will. You deserve to tell him like it is. And then, because we came back, slime all over his ass! In your face! Then... For favorite video game, Just Dance 3. Well, no surprise, there was going to be a 3. Oh, wait. Modern Warfare 3. Where is it? Oh, wait. It's rated M. No longer eligible because it's rated M. Okay, that's understandable. But what happened to Madden? What happened to 2K12? They should have been nominated. Then, the Slime Wrestling. Big Show 1, terrible commentary. We needed the real WWE, or I could do better than them. I could do better than those horrible commentators that they used for the slime wrestling. Where's the WWE commentators? They could have done way better than those that they offer. Big Show wins, proving the Miz is not awesome. He is not. He's just a pretty boy. By the way, Cena and The Rock are going to battle it a lot in Miami. Okay, before this thing, then it was the, not just with Katy Perry, it's this one group, One Direction. Who the flippin' A are they? Apparently I found out they're from the British X Factor. Sorry, Mikkel, you have to be out of your mind. But, guess what? They did okay. I didn't, I didn't bash on Katy Perry, uh, like I did on Katy Perry. They were simple, get to the point, okay. But still irrelevant. You know why it's irrelevant? If I'm speaking of why it's irrelevant, it's because Selena Gomez. If it was dancing with Taylor Swift and Victoria Justin, she had the one top, black top. Who are you trying to be? Mila Kunis, aka Jackie Burkhart? Are you trying to be like Selena Quintanilla? Controversy all over just because she. Wore one piece doesn't mean you have to wear one piece no matter how much you cover it. Controversy, 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 controversy. Overshadow the whole performance. And then, finally, the bomb made the final toll. Nathan Chris was the last one. Movies. Favorite, favorite movie. Alvin and the Chipmunks 3. Are you kidding? What about the Muppets? Oh wait, even though it's Disney, out of all of them, the Muppets and Deathly Hallows Part 2 from Harry Potter got good reception in the Rotten Tomatoes. None of those other, like that and the Smurfs, were good. And favorite song, 
Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO, no surprise, and then the slime bomb exploded. Leading to the last segment with the argument with Will Smith and the kids. And then the security took him away, which apparently learned and later turned out to be Jaden and Willow. Then we found out the creepy boys. It was none other than Mr. Stuffed Animal himself, the one guy who made the song otherwise known as Forget You, CeeLo Green. He looked like a stuffed animal. If there's some stuffed animals of him, I would buy one. And then he talked about his dreams about being slime. It's like me being a commentator or Daryl Walter trying to finally win the Daytona 500 back in the day, in which he did in 1989. So Will Smith found something else to make him better, but it didn't do any, did anything good for him. Ice cream sundae, and they put a sherry top on his head. And we see Lil Green, a bridesmaid, once again. Maybe one day he'll get slime, not this year. Instead, it went to the one and only 18-year-old kid from Canada, Justin Bieber. Ironic or not that Jaden and Will Smith presented it. That tells you a lot. The other guys were Bruno Mars, Toby Keith, who had no shot of winning, neither is such it because nobody talks about him because you have... Justin Bieber all over the media along with Selena Gomez and this irrelevant kid named Cody Simpson. At first I thought he wasn't going to show up. Then he surprised the world. All the girls were screaming and yelling and all of that. Couldn't hear Justin Bieber speak. Probably all the haters, for me, I, I would be included on that. Would be thankfully glad that his microphone was screwed. And speaking of that, what do you think of his new record, Boyfriend? He's trying to be like Justin Timberlake. He's trying to make some... R&B beats from like back in the early 2000s or what? What do you think? I want to hear your opinion. And he turned out to be the random celebrity. And Nick the Slime Fest USA show. And so leading to the final results. It was mixed. Uh, it was better than the ones with the Jonas Brothers a couple years ago. When Korn told every single war but like five, four or three. Here's the reception. Right in the tomato style. 69%! No, not really. Just putting a little joke because of Dan Daniela Monette, Selena Gomez, and Liz Giles wearing uh, crunk dresses. 61%. It was okay. But a lot of crapping things happened, which gave him a low grade, no surprise. So I thought it was not the best one. At least it was old, something worth watching. Good host, terrible performances, nothing but sex all over it. Quite simple. And here's my final message before I sign off. What a, what, here's a noted fact. First and foremost, kids, this is, this is what reviews is all about when you grow up. You have to involve a lot of things that you, that you don't want to hear. Especially the diehard Nickelodeon fans from the 90s and even the... Would understand. I, this is like a rant and an aspect of the Kids' Choice Awards. So kids, keep in mind, when you grow up, the one thing you have to remember, 1990s were the prime. When you had Doug, Rugrats, then you had then so on and so forth like Rocco. Hey Arnold, gangster show that that. Then you along with Cartoon Network, when you had Johnny Bravo, Ed and Ed Eddie, Powerpuff Girls, Dexter, and all of that. Those were good, good shows. Now the day with reality taking over, you don't have much left. So, this has been the 25th anniversary Kids Choice Awards review special by Auto Rock and Racing 94. And one more announcement. Controversy within the womb. Controversy on what they dress, especially to the three girls, Monette, Giles, and Gomez. Figure out the puzzle, and Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, just causing more controversy. And until we meet again, here's one more thing. Big things are coming up. I hope I get to send it out immediately. And I severely apologize for my negative, negative reception. And for my language and references that I use. Because that's how I feel. And that's all I gotta say about this Kids' Choice Awards. Until we meet again. Good night. And I hope you enjoyed 
this random commentary of the Kid Choice Awards 2012.